in our life, especially when our parents tell us not to, because, I mean, we don't want to listen to our, what our parents have to say. Um, about 10 years ago, we, my family was at the skating rink helping my uncle pick up after one of the skate nights, and me and my brother decided to get the small square scooters out, which our parents told us it would be a bad idea because someone was going to end up hurt. And so we all listened, so we got them out anyways. And we decided to play a game of chicken. And the objective of the game was to see who could get the closest to the wall without jumping off and getting scared. And so I was up first because he was smart enough not to go. But he pushed me as hard as he could. And when I realized that when he let go, I was headed straight for a steel door instead of the wall. And I had no time to react. And I smacked the steel door, splitting my head open. Um, I remember blood dripping from my head as I was walking for from one side of the skating rink to the other side, and then I blacked out. I woke up in the ER while the doctor was gluing my forehead back together. And my dad was sitting right next to me, and the first thing that he told me was, I told you so. So, being kids, we don't like to hear that from our parents. And, um, Another time, they told us not to do something. It was a couple years ago at the Vinton um, Marion Breast Cancer Awareness Game. And me and Zach Boyson were playing with a bottle. We were playing catch with it. And my parents would always tell me to just sit in the stands and not mess around. Because someone's going to end up hurt someday. And... So he threw the bottle, I went down to pick it up, and he was standing right over top of me. I went back up, and I thought we butted heads, but it turns out his tooth went right into the top of my head, and it went about, it was three-eighths of an inch into my head, and there was blood, like, going down my, um, the back of my head. And I walked over to my dad, and I remember him saying, what's the matter with you? Like, not thinking anything of it. But we went to the emergency room at St. Luke's, and I had to get two staples in the top of my head. And he asked me if I wanted Novocaine, but he said it would take longer. So I said, no, just put them in. It felt like someone hitting you in the top of the head with a rubber mallet. Oh. Oh. Um, my lesson from this is that you should listen to your parents because they do know best sometimes and that you should always be careful what you're doing if it can be potentially dangerous. Okay, excellent.